Hello, I'm Laura from Leeds University Library Galleries and for today's Two Minute Treasure I'm going to tell you a little about the University's copy of the Nuremberg Chronicle, a book printed 527 years ago in July 1493. It's part of our Incunabula collection. Incunabula are books printed in Europe before 1501 and it's a particularly well documented example of an early printed book, meaning that we know about quite a lot of the people who were involved in its original production. It was a bestseller of its day, commissioned by two merchants, Sebald Schreier and Sebastian Kammermeister. The text tells the story of human history as it was told in the Bible. The Latin text was written by Hartmann Schiedel, a German physicist, humanist and historian. It's not just a book of text, it's lavishly illustrated with hundreds of woodcuts produced in the workshop of Michael Wolgamut, and this elaborately designed book was printed by Anton Koberger. The first Latin edition, of which this is one, was printed in July 1493, with a German translation following this later that same year. And a measure of the book's success was that a pirated version was produced within just a few years. Some early printed books contain marginalia. These might be comments in the text to show how previous readers have responded to the book over the centuries. But this particular copy of the Nuremberg Chronicle is very clean. There are no comments in the body of the text. And at the front of the book, there is in fact only one clue to indicate the previous owner before Lord Brotherton bought the book in the 1920s. A small inscription, J.D. Coleridge, 1 Sussex Square, London, 1871, shows that the book was owned in the later 19th century by John Duke Coleridge, an English lawyer, judge and politician. In 1871, the date of this inscription, he was involved in the Tichborne case, a high-profile case in which a man was claiming to be the missing heir to a baronetcy. Coleridge's diary from the time shows how he bought the book while he was involved in the case. A matter-of-fact entry from December the 2nd, 1871, says a day in chambers, had a long and satisfactory consultation in Tichborne, took a ride for the first time in the park, went round by Ellis and bought a Nuremberg Chronicle. <laughs>